it's Miss Tarian, and I'm wearing the same outfit because I filmed more than one video in the same day because I have a lot of stuff to get off of my chest, right? I've been MIA for a little bit and I'm trying to come back, right? So, I just wanted to talk about dating. Dating is hard. Like, dating is hard work. Like, I am telling you, it is hard. Ugh. Because, listen, I, I think my issue is, one, I've been single for way too long. Two, I've been single for way too long. Like, I'm not interacting with people enough on a day-to-day -day basis. And I don't know the areas very well or how things are here when it comes to dating. Um, like, I have always liked people who are older than me not just the, sometimes um okay I'm, they, they, i've only ever spoken to one person who's like a year older than me just like the same age as me but typically whoever i'm speaking to whether dating even friends like hell normally older than me i'm so used to being around older people when i was going to doing my um early shelly training back in jamaica like i'm in a classroom of married women all the people who are my age they dropped out they quit Everybody who remained were like single moms, married people, people engaged, like people who have lives, like grown ass people trying to learn this skill to go be in a classroom, right? So I've always been a little bit, a little, little bit more mature sometimes because I'm so used to being around those kind of people. So when I get to be around people who are my age, especially people who are here, it's like all you want to do is party, drink, smoke weed, like 24-7. Do you not have a job? Do you have no goals? Do you have nothing working towards? You're coming into work hungover and tired. You're going to go back and party some more. You're in this club. You're throwing up. And you think, oh, you're drunk as hell and you're throwing up. You're going to go home. Nah, you go to another bar or another club. Like, is that what it means to have fun? Like, really? If that's the case, I don't, I don't want any part of that. Like, no. So a lot of times, I'll be the mom of the group. I don't really like that. Sometimes, sometimes it's okay because I'm like, hey, can, 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 it's, time, it's time to go. Let's go. So when I'm around older people who are more mature half the time i'm the one being the kid i i'm happy i got a break i get to be reckless and kind be a little 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 bit loud and just do some stupid stuff because i don't have to worry about watching someone else and keeping someone else safe and i know that whoever it is that i'm around they gonna make sure i don't do nothing too stupid and besides i don't even do anything that stupid anyway it's just gonna be like dancing and just really having a good time and relaxing because i don't have to be really watching anybody like that right so back to the fact of dating because i think i'm stray straying off topic um yeah dating is hard like it's hard work because again people my age they just want to drink party smoke weed go out like we, we can we can have a little bit of drinks and we can do some partying but not every day and not every weekend honey i need a break let's go to the movie i need a break and i need to do some actual stuff let's go play some video games let's go to the movies let's go to a theme park let's go play some golf let's sit let's stay home this weekend let's take a nap like when we were younger we hated taking naps we all thought like oh when i get older i can work with whatever i want i can do this this and that honey if i could turn back the hands of time send me back to preschool hell all i had to worry about was was when when when's lunch time and if i'm gonna get to play outside today like send me back to those times it was a happy time it was a wonderful time like we, we all wanted to grow up and now we're here and it's like mm, i know what i said but i didn't mean it if you watch this um, person's YouTube channel, you know kind of where I got that from. I was listening to her like, I know what I said, but I didn't mean it. Like, girl, <laughs> we didn't mean it. We didn't even know. Like, we didn't know. So dating is, it's, it's, it's just so difficult because, you know, I'm from, I'm, like I said, I'm Jamaican. And I'm here in America. I'm used to a certain standard of uh food 
you know. So we go out to eat and everybody's enjoying this food. And my face is all scrunched up like what is this? Right? You go out to breakfast and I've come to learn whenever you go out to breakfast time and you especially when you're getting eggs and little stuff like that. You always put tons of put the salt and the pepper on there because I now now I don't even taste it first anymore now I just automatically I just start throwing the salt and pepper on there and then I take my first bite delish because I've gone out a few times whether I'm treating myself or I was just um, taking for breakfast and I order that kind of stuff and it's like uh, what is this you know so yeah and then people who are like my age you know in their 20s and stuff i guess it's because you know it's not that era or you know they weren't told to do be doing these stuff like they're just rushing i don't like to be rushed like you're trying to rush all of these stuff you're trying to do wham bam thank you man if that's what you want like listen just say up front what it is that you're looking for right because i don't want to be rushed i'm in no rush to get to bed with you Right, if we get to that stage, hell, like, we're going to have a jolly good time. But I don't want nobody rushing me. Two, I need you to speak some English when you're talking to me. I do not understand your slangs. I need you to pull up your damn pants. I don't like the look of your pants being under your butt. Like, I don't like it. It's, it's, I don't like it. I like when your pants is on your waist. You got it nice and pulled up. Because even when I was with, um, I was at my job. And somebody was saying that, oh, you know, the pants, you can't wear them on your hip. You got to kind of kind of put it, put it, put it, put it, pull it down a little bit so you can have a little bit of swag. Like, um, I heard that and I'm like, no, mm -mm, no, I don't like it. Because I don't even see what's the point of you wearing a pants. You're going to pull it all the way down under your butt. Then you have your underwear, then you have something else, and then you have the shirt tucked into that. That looks so disgusting. Or even when you have it like you have the same pant layout, but you have the shirt over it, and then you have the belt kind of around your thighs or something to hold the pants up. Why not just buy pants that fit and put it all the way up? Like, what's, what's, what's going on? Like, who made that the norm? Who turned that into fashion and why do you women and whoever is telling people that having two undies on having the shirt tucked into the undie and the pants hanging down that it looks good it does not look good it don't look good even if it's just one um, undie on and the shirt is tucked in it and the pants sagging down and just you walking like you, you you're trying to hold your you're trying to clench your butt because you really got to tell you got to poop so bad it's like Ooh. that's not sexy to me i'm sorry and, and and a lot of people who are my age range in their 20s and stuff that's how they dress and i don't like it and then i don't i, I really don't like the rapper look so for instance you trying to cover yourself in tattoos like you see one or two tattoos are fine but i don't like you just trying to fill yourself up to tattoos it's just not my thing and then you're doing all these piercings and you're wearing the grills and stuff and you're trying to use the grills the tattoos and you're talking slang honey i am not the one for you i know there's someone out there for you but that is just not my thing I can accept the tattoos because you know you done messed that up. And it's not like I won't talk to someone who has those. I'll talk to you as a friend. And then hell, if I really like you, we may just mesh. But I still need to just speak English and take that stupid gold thing out your mouth. Because when you have it in your mouth, I don't know what you're saying. And you look stupid. In my opinion. So this is just my opinion. Okay? My opinion. My thoughts. What I like what i don't like i get that you like it it's okay if you like it if you like it and you want, want to continue to do it go ahead nobody's stopping you i just don't like it which is why i'll keep my mouth shut you can ask me how i look like mm, look, look all right i don't like the pants all the way down there but yeah look all right it's the same way someone's not gonna like how i look 
they're not gonna like the fact that oh you were in makeup let me come closer it doesn't even look that neat today i kind of rushed it oh they don't like that i'm wearing makeup they don't like that i wear wigs and stuff because oh you hate yourself that's why you're wearing wigs honey don't you know black people hair is kind of hard to deal with sometimes you know the coarse tightly curled as you like to call it because nappy is a bad word those coarse hair textures in your I ain't got the time. I mean, I can simply do this. I can have straight hair today, and I didn't have to spend like 29 hours in my hair trying to straighten it just to step outside the door and it goes and pulls back out. I just slap this on my head and boom, right out the door. Right out the door. Let's work. And you get to change your look up. Today I look like a Barbie princess. Today I look like a queen. Today I just look like whatever. So I, it's, it's nice having the option to change up your hair. So even at one point in time, I used to think that people didn't like themselves because they'd be covering, putting on all this makeup and the hair and you're not embracing your hair. But hey, people who know me personally, you, you're gonna see me in my natural hair from time to time because I ain't got the patience for this sometimes. Okay, there's times when it's hot or I just don't feel like doing all this and I'll be in my natural hair just embracing it. I'll put, little, put it in a little twist and then take them down so that I can have these beautiful little curls. But then it comes time to detangle it and it's like, uh, oof, I hate that time. So it's better to just do this. It's just a simple one, two. You grab your comb. Right, grab a little comb and it's like doop, and you comb it down, and you comb it down, and you run the brush through it one little time, and you're done. It's just a simple one, too. I can't just brush my hair like this, boom, boom, out the door and leave. Nah, so this is just my little take on dating and and rambling on about hair and stuff I don't like. So, yeah, it's Miss Tari. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.